Hey, what up, guys? This is Kyle Carroll from Carroll's Corner MMA Podcast and MyMMANews.com. I'm joined by the uh, vacant title contender, uh, Adam Barrett. He's fighting for the Bantamweight Cage Wars title. Uh, Adam, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Um, now, tell us a little bit about how you feel going into this fight. You are just coming off that tough uh, loss in the, for the title, uh, defending your title. Now you get another chance for the vacant title. Tell us how you feel. I feel great going into this fight. I trained really hard for this one. The, uh, the recent loss, kind of a little, ki- uh, little candle under my ass. And uh, I, I probably trained harder for this camp than I did in the previous last three fights. Um, I've been adding a lot of running, a lot more kicking, and uh, you know, training sometimes twice a day, six days a week. Awesome, and I and I see you know you're not only are you putting uh, you know more pavement more time on the pavement running, but I see you're also doing more advertising. You have shirts, um, um, you have like a nice logo which looks like a banner on your Facebook as well. Yeah, yeah, I did um, doing a little marketing. Um, maybe next time I'll I'll end up doing a uh, update my Instagram, but uh, <laughs> we did some t-shirts this time, and uh, I was fortunate to get uh, some sponsors to help me out. Um, so it's uh, kind, of, kind of cool to, to see your name on a T-shirt. Yeah, d- d- definitely. <laughs> now, uh, you're from the area, so you're going to have a pretty strong local uh, support. What does it mean to have uh, – what does it mean to you to have all these people come out and uh, watch your fights? It, it's really great to see the support that you get. And, um, you know, every, everybody has a respect for, for MMA fighters, and it's, you know, it's great to, to see that. And it's nice to have – everybody be able to not have to travel to to go see me fight Uh, especially this is my fourth time so um staying local is nice awesome and what did you learn most about your loss to uh, azai um who you know you you went in there you you fought a hard fought fight but you didn't come out with the w what did you learn most from that uh well just reiterated um not to leave it in the hands of the judges it was kind of my fault a lot, of, you know, a lot of people said I did win the fight. Uh, it, I, I think it could have gone either way. Um, I, I thought I won two of the three rounds, but it is ultimately it's your fault when you leave it in the hands of the judges. I could have gone a little more ballistic, especially right at the end to to kind of button it up. But I, I kind of rested back, and that's that's probably uh, something that from the last fight I figured it was close, and I, I you know I thought I had it during the fight, uh, but. That's my mistake. Never leave it in the hands of the judges. So what I've learned from this time is is I'm going to try to do go out for more finishes and, and TKOs, KOs, and submissions. You always look for those. And you mentioned you've been training more on um, grap or continuing grappling, kicking, as well as working in your your own judo, uh, your own um, dojo. Tell us how uh, training for uh, this fight has been going. Uh, it's been going great. I train uh, with Brian Bury at Brian Bury Jiu Jitsu. Uh, usually a training in the morning there, and I'll, I'll teach my own classes at my own uh, gym at night. And then most of the some nights I'll go back down to Brian's gym and, and for a second training. So uh, luckily, I, yeah, I'm very lucky. I'm, I'm on the mats almost all day, so either training or teaching. So it's, it's very fortunate. Sometimes I wake up and, and I have to wonder, wow, is this, you know, this is a good lifestyle to have. Uh, so I'm, I'm really fortunate. That's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely always fun to do something you love, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And now tell us, um, you, you, you've had some great victories via um, submission, um, but what do you want to do the most inside this fight coming up? What are some short-term goals for this fight? My short-term goals are to, to do a little more striking. Uh, my comfort zone right now is, is, is obviously jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, you're a lot more comfortable grabbing and holding on to someone than you are trading mm-hmm. punches and kicks. But I'm, I'm going to need to mix it up a little bit, especially if I want to do anything in the pro level. So, you know, this fight, I would like to, to unleash some more kicks. And uh, the other thing is, is maybe think a little more intelligently. When you get into the fight, it's kind of like a dream. You, you know, you don't know if you're thinking or not. Um, you know, you, you remember only bits and pieces of it when it's, when it's finished. And, uh, you know, I would like to have maybe a little bit more intelligent conversation with myself during the fight. And mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be something crucial for me uh, in the pro level because if I can't do that, I'm not going to be able to make the adjustments that I need throughout the fight. I know, that's something I feel like a lot of athletes go through is, I guess, trying to figure out how to slow down the fight. 
uh, or the uh, mm-hmm. matches, whatever sport it may be, while you're participating in it. What, how, what are some ways you've learned to, I guess, slow it down so you can think intelligently and not like, I guess you could say blackout during the fight? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, well, one of the things that I, I usually tell myself, and this is something that uh, a lot of coaches will, will say to their to their students is treat the fight or the match just like a, a, a sparring match in class and think of it as that way. And that's, that's something that really does help because uh, when you think about it, the things that you're, the things that you're, uh, that you're doing in, in your training are probably going to be a lot tougher than your fight. You're fighting bigger opponents uh, and such like that. Are you uh, are you still online here? I am still online. I did just it just went black though, so I don't know if uh, oh, I'm losing you for. I hear you, Claire. I'm there we go. All right. And then you mentioned that about uh, fighting as a pro. Is there a timetable after this fight for maybe another title defense or take that leap to pro? Yeah, I would I would like to do this fight and maybe one one more fight, and uh, we'll we'll look at at going pro from there. Uh, probably in the beginning of 2019. Excellent. And how's the weight cut going for you? I know you haven't really eaten much. Weight cut, weigh-ins are tomorrow. Yeah, uh, weigh-ins are tomorrow. Um, you know, it's 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 tough. Uh, I, but I, you know, I'll handle it. It's it's probably the same as as the others. Okay. This time I'm a little more miserable because today is actually my birthday. Oh, happy and birthday! Been, thank you. The big four zero today. Oh, four four zero. Um, so, yeah, right. I can't really have anything. So. Uh, but those are the sacrifices you make, so I'll have to remember that when I walk into that cage on Saturday. Oh, definitely. And uh, after, if you get the victory, uh, it'll be all the spoils will be all that much worth it. Yes, yes, absolutely. Awesome. So, well, happy birthday to you. And uh, t- mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about, um, you know, why do you do this? Like you just mentioned, you just turned 40 today. Why do you do this? Uh, when, I was, when I was a kid, I, my goal was to be uh, – to be in the in the Olympics for Taekwondo, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I made it to the in 1999. I made it to the Olympic trials, and I lost in the third round. Um, and then kind of I you know I fizzled out with Taekwondo from there into, into my early 20s. So this is getting something back into the MMA at this age. It's kind of like a redemption for myself. It's you know I just want to prove to myself that you know that I can compete at a top level, and. Uh, you know, the, the Taekwondo has changed in such now where it's not the new style of Taekwondo is not really something I'm, I'm interested in, in competing in and a more of a more practical self-defense based training. So the, the mixed martial arts fits perfect into that. And, um, you know, I'm absolutely, you know, in love with jujitsu. So, uh, you know, everything goes together with with that. Uh, and then, uh, you know, obviously I want to do some coaching. So I think... Um, uh, the experience that I'm gaining now is going to be make me a better coach down the road. So, you know, those those are the driving forces behind what I'm doing today. Awesome. Now, what can you expect from Mike Martinez? He's in a similar position as you are, both coming off of losses in title fights. What can you expect from him? Uh, you know, it's going to make it really interesting. Previously, it would have been a little better fight for me, uh, beating, or hopefully beating an undefeated guy, but... Uh, uh, you know, now it's a little more a different twist, where we're both coming off of a loss, and uh, you know we're both going to be hungry for that win. So it's, I think it's going to be a, a good war. I expect obviously jujitsu from him. Um, you know, I, I watched his fight in October with Nakoya, and uh, and after you know Nakoya is a great striker, and he was able to you know to submit him. But the difference between myself and Nakoya is I've, I've got the, the level of jujitsu, so. Uh, it's going to be a good matchup. Always two guys coming off of a loss. We're, we're both hungry for a win. Yeah, should definitely. Be should be fireworks, no doubt about that. I'm pretty pumped for this fight. Um, I believe you guys are the main main event, right? Uh, co-main event. Co-main event, okay. Maybe we're from the last, so the second co-main event. All right, awesome. That's, well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for this fight as well. Um, anyone you want to recognize before we wrap it up? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, my coach Brian Bury uh, with Brian Bury Jiu Jitsu. Uh, you know, all the training that I've done and then all the success I've had in the last year has, has all come from that gym and everyone there, all my training partners. And um, you know, this time I, I was fortunate enough to get some sponsors to help me out. Uh, so I have, uh, you know, obviously Brian Bury Jiu Jitsu, uh, ADK Fightwear, uh, 
Capital District, New York Kids, Healthplex, Strength and Fitness, uh, Core Business Technology Solutions, Advisors Insurance Brokers, another company, Six Marketing, and the gentleman who designed this T-shirt and uh, making my banner, uh, KR Signs. So awesome. these are some local companies and a couple national companies that I all have relationships or have done business with in the past. And, um, you know, I told them what I was doing and, and there was no hesitation. So I was really fortunate. Um, so, you know, I'd like to give a shout out to those sponsors and supporters. Awesome. Well, Adam, I appreciate taking the time between training and uh, preparing for tomorrow for weigh-ins. Uh, happy birthday to you and the best of luck Thank this you. weekend. All right. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Likewise. Have a good one. Enjoy yeah. your birthday. Yeah. Thanks, guys.